South Australia, we have Druid Fluids. They're going to be dropping a couple of new songs along the way. They're going to be playing a few you might know, and they're just going to be sprawling out across the next hour. We've got Jamie on vocals and guitar. We've got Jess on synth, guitar, vocals, the whole lot. We have Oscar on sitar, Michael synth and guitar, Tom on bass, Eli on drums. We're going to let them introduce themselves musically. You're listening to 3D Radio 93.7 FM.
Gentlemen, live from Studio 3, we have Druid Fluids in here on this Wednesday evening, and it feels like a beautiful symmetrical thing, because the last time that we had the band playing live was after Radiothon last year. That was the last time we caught you. A beautiful day in the park. So it's good to have you right at the end of Radiothon once again, coming in to bless us with your sounds. Thanks for having us, Isaac. It's always a treat. It's been, um, you know, over a year, you always hope that you feel, um, you know, you feel like you've grown a little bit as a person each year as it goes by, but you guys have literally grown in numbers of band members. Who's new? Who do, would you like to We've introduce? Got, we got two new members. Well, yeah, kind of two and a half new members. We got Eli joining us on the on the Boomba, Boomba drum bombs, and then we got Michael Pierce on the guitar and uh, synthesizer. And then we got Oscar Ellery doing sitar. Is this, this is your second show, isn't it? Second oh. show. There you go. Well, thank yeah. you for coming here. I know we've just had a little bit of a taste from some music that people probably haven't heard. We had um, Flutterby, which is the uh, the forthcoming single. Has anyone had the chance to hear that yet? Have you? I, I might have had a sneaky I listen. I might have received an email. That's unimportant. Though. I'm <laughs> talking about the beautiful people listening in to All the beautiful radio. people. Yeah, um, yeah. No, it's only just kind of us and my mum. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> what was your mum's reaction the first time that oh, she, she, that she heard this song? Jimmy, yeah. Yeah. Jimmy, Jimmy. <laughs> Play something nicer. You, you know what she said to me once, actually? She was like, she'd do a psychedelic version of Sweet Home Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, wow, you don't know me at all, do you? <laughs> okay. Well, look, different strokes, different folks. It's really good to have you guys in here for the uh, Live from Studio 3 program. A big shout out to Liv and Sunny and... We got Cactus kind of doing a bit of sound as well. They're an important thing, but he's now come and he's perched himself. And uh, I know he loves the Druid Fluids. So big shout out to all the sound team and people listening in. I'm going to let you keep rolling in because I want to hear more. I want to hear more from Druid Fluids. Every little musical drop you've got. Cool. cool. We've, we've got, got a few more drops. drops. Excellent. Um, this is actually a new song and we've never um, done it live before. And I don't even think it'll be on the album. It'll be on the the reunion tour album. Yeah. <laughs> greatest so hits. Yeah, greatest hits. <laughs> the 3D bootleg. <laughs> the girls collection. Yeah. You're listening in a 3D? 93.7 FM. Thank you. 
Wilson in live from Studio 3, Druid Fluids. Absolutely crushing it this Wednesday evening. That one is called Ebbs and Flows, an as unheard song that you might not hear again for a little moment. So I hope you, hope you sunk right in. Hope you get stuck in a couch or uh, something ridiculous. You've just been, um, you've been jamming before that. You were, you were knocking back Sweet Home Alabama. So I figured I'd kind of jump in and say if you were to cover a Leonard Skinner song, what would you be covering? That's the only a, one I know. It's the only one you know. The only one he's got. Oh, you never heard of Freebird? What the fuck's that? You, you don't know it, Freebird? Okay. Freebird. It's all right. Can you sing it to me? Yeah, I'm as free as a bird. I don't know, yeah. so it goes like 10 years. And, uh, okay. and I thought it's a jam band, you know, Freebird was probably, it's one of those loathed songs by a lot of musicians, I right, think. Right, there you go. But anyway. I gotta check out the back catalogue of Limit. Yeah, moving forward. I'm gonna let you, I, you, I got a hypothetical for you. Okay. So you've just won the Grammy Award for Best Druid Fluids and you get up on stage. Who are the people you need to thank and what, uh, what kind of social message would you give as a band that best represents you all? Um, in a short thing before we play you off. In a short thing, that seems like a... No, we'll play I you off. I could give an essay on who I need to thank. Yeah. Me mum, me dad, Michael's mum, Michael's dad, Oscar's mum, <laughs> his dad as well. You know, the list goes on. I feel like um, there's more. Uh, Isaac <laughs> Selby. Thank you. Sam <laughs> Lovers. The people who are working here tonight on this beautiful occasion. I'm going to... This is a bit of a trap, this question, because I'll forget a lot of people. Okay, and, and social gonna, justice. We're going to alienate all our fans, you know. All the fans, <laughs> that's a good one, actually. <laughs> fans. All people on earth. All three of them. Um, Uncle Neil. <laughs> the wolf mother. <laughs> hey, look, big shouts out to all of the people. They probably know who they <laughs> are. And, oh, maybe they're listening in and they're scowling and they're going to give you a serve next yeah. time. But I'm loving the sound so far. We just had a big old ebb and flow and we're going to be going into a nice three song long bracket. Is this going to be another one, one of those ones where it blends in between yeah, all the songs? Actually, it, yeah, you got to sit down for this one. Okay. We have a marathon, an emotional marathon. Cool. Well, we love that. We hate dead air here at 3D Radio, so we'd like to see <laughs> all of those songs talking. blend in so well. You're listening to Druid Fluids live from Studio 3. Buckle in. Sit down. More goodness coming your way. All right, sweet home Alabama. Are we ready? <laughs> One, two... Oh, wait, no, sorry, I'm not ready. I'm going to stop that. Shut, 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 shut. Okay, shut, check. Shut, shut, what? Oh, sorry about that. One, two, three, four.
You're listening in live from Studio 3. We've just had a run of songs. Egypt, Jazzy. I read it as Electric Shack, but Electric Shock <laughs> yeah, most likely. How do you think Electric Shack sounds? That's all right. Do you want to know the story behind it? I would love to. Um, do you mind if I tell Jeff? It's kind of a Jeff of accent, but um, there's like certain parts as you can tell where it's about to go up and then it comes right down really quickly. <laughs> And when we were trying to work out the arrangement of it, Jess would always come in at the wrong time. And as soon as he'd press the synth, he'd like take his hands off. That looked like he uh, well and truly got an electric shock. It's beautiful. You do have enough equipment that I feel like if at any stage, any one of you did get some sort of electric current running through. Mate, you should see the spaceship at Jamie's house. It, we're running power boards into power boards into power boards. <laughs> it's pretty bad. It's bad. full on. It like is. fire alarms. Not working now as well because it kept making noises. You got the Michael extinguisher, there, don't you? To the couch. <laughs> <laughs> so this might be one of the last times we ever hear from George Lewis. Yeah, we might just the, leave uh, like the big here, tragic here, plays <laughs> or uh, <laughs> the penultimate show. Hey, it's sounding really, really good, guys. What kind of like you were talking about your space? Like with I don't know what we call this space, like twenty by ten or something. I'm terrible with uh, dimensions. How big is the space that you guys it's all kinda, work? It's quite out similar, of? similar to this. It's just a bit longer. Yeah, I think. and then there's like a li- it's like an L shape, and that's where the because we're recording all um, at our house, so that's where all the control room is. And so you're doing like all the mixing, mastering yourselves. We've got um, a few people coming actually in. Actually, we were mixing our new single for about six months, and then we <laughs> <laughs> we just came to this conclusion that like it's that it was just like the most emotionally draining thing, and we're too perfectionist about it. So we've actually um got put onto through Oscar's band, um, Sons of Zoku, um, a guy called James Aspirio, um, who's mixed like Nick Cave and wow. spiritualized and stuff. But we're recording it all at our house. So. What, what's it like working with someone that has such a huge kind of breadth of experience with <laughs> these awesome bands? Is it intimidating? <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know if he likes me that much. No. <laughs> okay. Um, well, is that nah. good? Like he pushes you to do well, better? We've got a certain like rapport. A um, and it's... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Apparently, he's got this thing where it's unlimited mixes, and um, I think I took that. Like, so you pay <laughs> one certain <laughs> amount of money, and um, and you get unlimited mixes, and that's what it said on the website, and that's what I thought the deal was. Oh, it's, it's and <laughs> we got up to the 24th mix, and he said, <laughs> he, he got a little bit antsy, and he said um, that, yeah, he's never done that many, oh. many before, and we should probably just finish it. And I was ready to go another 20, to be <laughs> honest. I wasn't even. But he is an absolute genius. So I hope he's not listening to this. Well. Oh, he, he's probably upset because he's been paid $200 in the last six months just to work on one song, right? <laughs> we just send him breadcrumbs <laughs> per mix. We're on a budget ourselves. So. Cool. Yeah. Big incentives for anyone listening in that wants to get into music production or the music industry in general. It's a lucrative business. And uh, the Druid Fluids are blazing the trail. Now we've got um you've got you've got two songs left to play. Do you have like a ru- a rough estimate of how long they're going to take? I'm wondering if I'll cut it off here or um, let you launch straight in. I'll probably go for another hour or so. Okay, Maybe cool. Two. Apologies nah. to Sam and Raw Like Sushi. Yeah, uh, we're going <laughs> all in. Um, they will go into each other. Yeah. As a disclaimer. Perfect. So you won't be able to talk. Okay. Oh, look, I'll After. still probably barge in at some stage with <laughs> some absolute nonsense. If you want to just get nonsense. on vocals, man, honestly, just go for it. Yeah. I know your part. I got some beat, I got beat poetry and yeah. that type of thing up my sleeve if need be. But also before we get any further down this rabbit hole, big shout out to Albert, who's been doing some filming around the place as well yeah. in an effort to show you guys a little bit of what's happening. So that'll be coming onto the, the internet near you in a, in, a, in a week or so or however long it takes. And big shout out to Mark and Tiff as well for producing the show and everyone. Yeah, thanks so much. And 3D Radio. I've we reiterated this last time we played for you guys that you guys are like the best radio station ever. And yeah. No, you so are. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll stop it. <laughs> um, cool. You've been listening to Live from Studio 3. This is Druid Floods. Keep an eye out for the new single, Flutterby, and more music generally. We hope to catch you in a live space sometime soon. We've got two more songs. We've got La Reverie and Layers as well. Then Rolex Sushi is up next. You're on 3D.
Thanks, Hicks.